Welcome back, lords and ladies, to turn number six. We have a candidate for adoption, which I rejected. And our rankings are still first militarily, but we are soon dropping financially because I was able to get my mercenary band. Got these nice new chevrons, and all of them have armor upgrades. It's great. But uh, these guys have moved forward. So apparently they're afraid of my uh, my men. I actually might have enough to deflect one siege in any case. So I did some uh, some scouting to see how much movement it would take for me to get from point A over here in case you besiege that to B, say, Lannisport or the fort I'm going to make over here with Stafford. So let's say Stafford makes the fort there. Kraycall, <clears throat> I need Kraycall to be the one who leads the army because otherwise he'll freak out if he sees Devon. So, got Kraycall here. Just at the bottom left edge, I tested to see if uh, he'd be in range if Tarley was even if on the top, top tile of the castle. Nope. He wouldn't be able to attack from the, from the south and get a... Uh, an attack like that with reinforcements. Also, I captured both stock diplomats, so they won't be able to scout around, and I can have them killed whenever I like. But so far, they won't be able to do any damage. Alright, so we do something like that. Give you one more spearman. And that pretty much gives him another star command, so that's three. And I also, just so you guys can see here, we have a Master Roos Bolton and Rob King of the North. Now, had I noticed this previously and prior, I might have uh, acted a bit differently. Because uh, next turn, I haven't recorded number six until I had to turn seven which is not great but eh. anyways I didn't see that they had uh, or I didn't you know see the potential here so I could have grabbed Tommen thrown a fort down right there I would have cut them off from moving out this way and I could have Oh, plus it would have uh, blocked any reinforcements going around that way as well. So then I could have used, say, <clears throat> Ma Brand. No, actually I couldn't. He'd be out of range. Well, that's sad. I kind of had a thought of thinking and everything. But anyways, <clears throat> that's probably what I'll try to ration, ration out next turn. We'll see. Anyways, uh, we get Kevin. Yes, noble sire. Hail my king. Go over there. Yes, they, seize, noble sire. they don't have the men in range. I believe I made another fort. Just to the north of this one. So then they have to... <clears throat> Gosh, my voice right this morning is not great. Then they have to go around this tile here, which means that they're out of range. And then we get Clegane to do the same thing. And Jason Malister should be dead by next turn. Can I throw Balin Swan either down here or whatever? <laughs> I think I moved Mandon right there so he'd be in range of this siege to see if he could get another star command, but I don't know. Also, I was able to do it so that... Um, my forts and everything worked very well. Like there, you know how I had the zone of control down here when I was besieging that fort? Same thing over here, it's just uh, I don't remember how I did it up, but that's that. Either way, Waters is still fine. The ship is still just out of range.
Actually, I think I move him. <coughs> I move him just a little bit up here. Just so he's out of range 100%. I think they moved slightly. And I believe I take all these men. Move them just out of range. And I, I throw... Uh, I throw down Janos because he's got uh, understands logistics. And I also throw these guys over here. Something like that. Something like that. <clears throat> and then Tyrion would get uh, Rosby, the ancillary, and he would also, you know, be better for uh, the city so he'd make more money. So, we got Cornfield. I would have used a crossman personally, but hey, that's uh, just me. So they still got their ships planted right here, and that's pretty much it. There's not much more. I mean, I think they're probably sending some sort of reinforcements up, up north. And I believe I throw you back over this way. And I, I just get, basically I get this entire party ready to go north to put pressure on the Stony Sept and Atranta to re <laughs> you know, reclaim them. Damon and uh, Leo Lefford, I move forward just like right there. They changed it out to Rhyme and Frey. How could they? Yeah, they're building up more troops at River Run, so I've got to be a little careful. And I've got to watch my purse because I'm running out of money. So I might need to make a, a break for Stonehenge here in the future. We'll see. So that's pretty much all for turn six. There's not much more other than, you know, we're running out of money. And, you know, I'm getting closer to reclaiming some Stark territory for myself, so money shall be coming in rather quickly. And if I need to, I can just break some churches in, well, some of the last places I have. Still got, I, the main idea is for me to keep them in the places that need them, say here, even though it would give me a fine amount of money. I really don't want to do it because it would hurt probably the admin would go hey hmm you kind of have no churches left uh, <laughs> time to give you a faith militant uprising oh great here we go <laughs> so trying to avoid that trying to you know just do well in this hot seat and not get smothered by admin attack so I'm gonna end it here thanks everybody I'll see you in the next turn bear that out